Hello. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold up a bit. Gotta say a few words. Now, this brave lad here decided to sit down and pour his heart out. Channel the cosmic knowledge. Or just ramble a bit. Now, what he thought was only five minutes actually turned out to be 20 minutes. And I'm gonna make this video a bit longer with my comments. But I feel that I must because this was a great, a great monologue. He really felt something. But not to lose you to your viewer, listener, right off the bat, I'll be here to offer clarity to his insanity. Now, first things first, let's clear away that box or whatever that was, and my baby's face towels, you lazy sod. But let's keep the teddy, because teddy with the prayer beads, because everybody needs a teddy in their lives. Am I right? And why am I talking like this? Well, it's 5 a.m. in the morning, and I just finished a book with Matthew McConaughey, and I got mad respects for him. Green lights. All right, all right, all right. Wise guy, take it away. My name is Ken, welcome to my YouTube channel. You know what? <laughs> Life is not perfect. Let's keep the pox in a towel, right? Let's add some borders, though, to make things interesting. All right, take it away. If you like this video, please feel free to tick that like button and subscribe for um, Wisdom, which you're about to be unloaded by this little wise guy, right? I usually script my videos, I write them down in three days, I edit them, I make sure they are pristine condition to contain as much as nuggets of Wisdom as you can eat juicy nuggets, but this time I just wanted to do an important video that needs to come from my heart, that I need to sit here and channel this knowledge through my chakras, from my mind into this camera lens, through the internet and from your monitor into your mind and into your heart. May I do that? Thank you very much. You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to talk about power. I had this idea that I need to decide what I am, who I am. I've done this YouTube um, channel for almost a year and I have honestly learned so much. It has literally changed me. It has literally changed me. In the, in the beginning I was unsure of myself, I was a bit shy. I wanted to be liked by everyone. I did a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I skimmed the surface just to give you the basic ideas but I'm ready to dive in into the waters of power. And why do I con Continue to say this word, power, 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 because power is power. Don't you want power? Now, to me, power is control over your life. And life, man, is the ultimate thing that you can control, doesn't it? Don't you want to control your life? Now, simple fact, get this, you are alive right now. mean alive can well you see life is simple you're born you do something in a middle part that's called living and then you die you're gone you were gone here and then you're gone there again so what matters is the middle part the only thing that, that, that matters right now right now then you're watching this video and thank you so much for clicking on this video hey thank you so much for clicking on it watching it if you're still watching it so much love and power to you my friend but I'm going to talk about controlling the middle, the middle part, which is the most important part. Imagine if you were in a prison right now, doing a lifetime of prison. Would that be living? Would that be a life? Heck yeah, that would be a life. That would be living hard. A hard life. Would it be in, you know, you have your schedule, you wake up, you eat, you do gym, talk to other inmates, then you sit in your cell, watching outside of your cell window, looking at all the world that you're gonna have. Would that be interesting? Well, it depends. If you're an interesting person, maybe. Would you like to live that life? I wouldn't like to live that life. Think about what life do you want to live. For example, I want to tell you mine. I want to take my family in an RV and travel from New York to LA to see all the sites in between in North America. I love, that's my favorite destination. I love America. USA, Everybody in it. USA. I want to see the rest of the world as well. I want to climb the Tower of Pisa. I want to take a boat on the River Sena, sip a nice 
French wine and look at Eiffel Tower at night. I want to ride the camels in the Sahara Desert and climb a mountain, any mountain, doesn't matter. Would it be um, Kilimanjaro or Everest? Whatever. I just want to live. Now, living is amazing. What a great time to be alive. Huh? 2020, what a great year. But we need, in order to do that, in order to achieve this passion, we need to have a control. And then I come back to this thing about power. Now, where does power come from? Imagine somebody that you know that might seemingly have power, some sort of a, a mega movie star or a big politician or somebody that you look up to. What does he have? What, did, what is this? What is this presence that he has? He emanates this status and stature and everything he says from his mouth is pure cold and you're in awe of him and his power. Pointing at the solar plexus, the chakra that emanates spiraling power out of you. The passion, the life, his un dying, unmovable belief into something makes him powerful. Beliefs generate power. Whatever you believe in, the stronger you believe in something, the stronger power that you have. All great leaders had some singular idea, some singular thought, something that can change the world. The ideas in our mind have shaped this world. Everything you see around you was somebody's idea once in his head. So if you believe in something, then do it full-heartedly. If you're a Christian, be a damn good Christian. If you're a Muslim, Allahu Akbar, my friend. If you believe in Odin, then my friend, you and me, we will meet at the gates of Valhalla. <laughs> I love how they say Valhalla in movies, Valhalla. And I myself will carry you to the gates of Valhalla. Thor and Odin. If you're an atheist, my God, man, don't believe in anything and be that. Be that. That's... Now these beliefs, they shape your existence around you. If you believe in music, if you believe in a piano, then you have a piano in your home, you're filled, your house is filled with the music of piano notes and probably you have friends who believe in pianos, you to doing concerts with a lot of people listening at you who love pianos, who believe in pianos. Your world is one big piano and that's what you emanate. And if you do that passionately and skillfully enough, then you are a god of that world. You are a god and a powerful god of pianos, right? Now I'm sure that you got it. You're a smart one yourself. But what I meant there, what he meant there with his piano analogy is that whatever you focus upon in this life, that will be, that will become your existence. That will become your little universe. And that's what you're gonna attract in life. That's what you're gonna live in life. And that's what you're gonna love in life. So know what you want to attract in your life, be it pianos or be it something else. So you have to decide what type of God and power and control you want to have. Now, I want to tell you about my three core beliefs that will put my mark on this world, that I will make a stand, I will not bend on these beliefs, this is the beliefs that I am. And if this resonates with you, my friend, then welcome to the Curiosity Gang. And please join, join the gang, right? Now, why three? Because three, three is a magic number. It emanates through this world. It is everywhere, all around us. You've heard about the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You've heard about the heaven, earth, and hell. You've heard about mind, body, and soul, right? Three, there's something magical in three, right? Triangles are my favorite shape. Three points where two lines meet. Huh? <laughs> Let's tessellate. Mm -hmm. Let's tessellate. The first truth of my three truths, which will shape me, and I believe every human in this earth should know this. It is the foundation of all things. It is the physical manifestation. It is the body to someone's mind and soul. 
and I call it Know Thyself. It is the oldest philosophy ever by Socrates. And he said that you have to know thyself. When you are born, you're just a meat sack of unlimited potential. An empty vessel or a jar that somebody else can put their ideas and minds into it. Your parents, your teachers, your peers, your friends, your loved ones, everybody can influence you and make you believe what they believe, make you take away your control over this world. You know what I mean? Right? But there comes a time in your life where you have to take, make a stand, you have to find your own style. You have to know what you believe in, you have to know what you like, what you don't like. Do you like vanilla? Do you like chocolate? Do you want to be a bad guy? Do you want to be a good guy? What happens when you see somebody bullying somebody? Would you stand up to them and, and stop them? Or would you run away in fear? You have to decide when you're going to say no and when you're going to say yes. And that's only possible when you decide to get to know yourself. When you decide to know who you truly are. Do you like music? Do you like sports? Do you like video games? Do you like hunting? Whatever. Find out what makes you you. Don't sit there idly and let somebody else tell you who you are. What do you believe in? If you're ugly, if you're worthless. Because nobody's worthless. Everybody has a talent inside them. You just haven't looked deeply enough. Don't be a fish trying to climb a tree. Be fish swimming in the currents, in the oceans. The physicality of this world is real. It's real. It's everywhere. This is life. Yeah, I know I'm holding a pillow. I'm not crazy. This is life. You're in it right now. You were born. You're not dead. Live it now. Decide who you are, what you want to be. That's the foundation. Without this, you can't continue further. Without this, somebody else has a control over you and you have no power. Wow. <laughs> that was beautiful. I got nothing more to say. You just have to figure out who you are. When you know yourself, then nobody else can tell you who you are. You have control and you have power. Second laws of power that, by me, is what I mean is this is my core belief and over the course of these videos that I've done to this YouTube I have become to see it more clearly and clearly this world is a stage this life is just a ride you don't have to take it seriously the people I've met in this world on my travels in New York and London the countless people I've seen Online, I've seen stories, I've seen movies, I've read books, I've played video games, I've talked to everybody and I have dreamed. And what I see is there is no single truth out there. If you're a Christian and you believe this God, this earth was created in seven days and, and, and it is only a transition phase so you can live in the heavens, like Muslims with their virgins or athletes with their nothingness and the abyss, or Buddhists becoming a mosquito in the next life, that is their belief, and I respect them, but to me, that is limiting, you see. Because I hear them, I hear them, and they are just flavors. You can choose to be whatever you want in this life, and it's okay. This life has no purpose, this life has no meaning. In a way, it's pointless, but that's freeing, because you don't have to worry about that if you're not following you know the scriptures that now you're going to hell for all eternity hell only exists if you want to believe that it exists hell only exists if you make your life living hell some people are just enjoying life cruising on super yachts drinking champagne from fountains eating cherries and caviar from somebody's belly and they don't care about your beliefs. Why should you care about some other guys' beliefs? Have your own beliefs. This life is a ride and you can change your ride anytime you want. There is no single point in time where you have to accept the reality you're in. If your environment is toxic, change your environment. If the people around you are toxic, change the people, find new friends. There are 7 billion people out there 
and some of them can be right triangles for you to tessellate. Right? This life is a ride. It goes up and down, round and round. It can be scary, it can be fun, it can be thrilling, it can be lonely, it can be sad. But oh my god, what a fun it is to be in an amusement park and on a ride. And once this ride is over, I hope you had fun. Otherwise, what's the point? My man is just spitting wisdom. <laughs> But you know what he meant here, right? This life is a ride. It is the meaning of life. Everybody's searching for a meaning of life. And I'm telling you, he's telling you that there is no meaning. There is no point other than the one that you make it, that you make it. That frees you from following somebody's ways. That means that you will have the responsibility, you will have the control and you will have the power to decide what you want to do in this life. Nobody else can tell you. It's scary, but it's so exciting. If you want to have fun throughout your whole life, just go and have fun. As long as in the end, when somebody asks you, did you enjoy this life? You're going to say, heck yeah, I enjoyed this life. That's all. Number three, first was body, then the mind, and now comes the soul, the spirit, the good, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I call this phase, be water, my friend. Be water, my friend. Thanks to that good old guy, Bruce Lee. I said, empty your mind. You left too soon, buddy. But damn, did you have to remove those sweat glands? But I... It was, a, it was a trend back then, so I can't hold it against him, but oh, I could have lived a bit longer. Be Water, my friend, was one of his favorite saying in his interviews. I like to use this saying in all of my videos, but what it means to me, what it meant to him, and what it... What you should take out of it is that you cannot be rigid with your beliefs. The beliefs give you power, but only if they're not hurting you. If you believe in something, again, I like to point this out, Christianity, because um, why the hell not? And another happens on your way who does not believe in Jesus Christ, the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. Then you might become enemies. You might hurt yourself because your beliefs are so rigid you cannot accept the other one. Holy wars have been fought with the strength of the sword to cut down those who don't accept. The great Lord's love, you know. But what if I believe in Odin and Thor? What if I believe in Shiva? What, will, what if I believe in Apollo or Ares or Athena? Can we not be friends? I hope that someday our gods can become friends. So be water, my friend, which means that you have to flow through life. If a great wind comes and you're a tree and the great wind tries to bend you, if you're a too hard tree, it might break you. But if you're a bamboo, you just slow with the wind. You know what I'm saying? I believe in balance. This channel was started on this idea of balance being the center of the universe. So the third idea is the force which goes and guides us which is the universe itself, the force that's everywhere around us. Everything in this world has the opposite. The light has dark, the big has small, the strong has weak. And you have to use that. You have to know when to be weak. You have to know when to be strong. You have to know when to be loving, when to be fast, when to be slow, when to take your time. Enjoy that glass of wine with a nice camembert cheese. And sometimes you have to hustle, you have to work hard, you have to go in there and do the damn work. Even if you feel like you do, you should you know, put your feet up against the wall and just enjoy a bubble bath. You have to go in there and be, do the work. You have to fight sometimes. But you have to know when. You have to pick your battles. You have to be this opening, closing, opening, closing. You know what I mean? Do you know what he meant there? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> what he meant there is that 
Some beliefs can be so rigid and so unmoving that they end up hurting you more than benefiting you. Some beliefs are limiting instead of freeing. They offer no control and no power, which is the point of all this. You have to know exactly when you have to tweak your little beliefs in order for them to serve you. For example, Christianity. Why the hell not? If you're a true Christian and you meet a Muslim or you meet a Buddhist or an atheist and you become to have this verbal battles about the existence of gods and stuff and it becomes so heated that you are ready to kill yourself each other then that's bad that serves nobody that's limiting that's suffering and that's no power that's no true power so you have to know when to pick your battles when to go with the flow and when to go against the flow and up the flow down the stream up the stream with the wind water was this <laughs> clarifying for you enough? <laughs> this thing also give us some sort of a hope and solace that there is something greater out there. Something that knows, something that guides us. I'm not gonna call it God or whatever, or the force or the great Shiba Inu in the sky, you know, so wow. No. But there is something magical about life. I refuse to believe that we are all just a random noise in the universe that we happen to happen to happen to happen to be here just out of sheer luck. No, no, I don't feel that in my soul. And you can argue me about it all day, I will never budge that belief. There is something greater in there and we will find that out once we die. And if there's nothing out there, well then you won, I guess. What it means there is that the, the atheists won. One point for you atheists. But until then, I will be fighting for that belief as hard as I can. But then again, I will not be your enemy, I'll be your friend. Because to discuss these things is great, great magic of life, isn't it? We can share these connections through the power of the internet. God, I love science. Whew. Hallelujah. So these three things I will take away with me to my grave. But I also leave them out there in the universe. And if you feel like, woo, this guy was on his rocker today, then yeah, sure, he was. I was feeling this spirit inside me. Like I said, I did not script this. It came true from my heart and I just felt it. I just, I just felt something step into me and just blowing it out to you. Know thyself. Don't worry about this world. You don't have to be anything you don't want to. Figure out what you want and try to get that. This life is a ride, enjoy it. And the philosophy of it is, you have to be bending with the wind, flowing through the rocks so you can get everywhere and in every people's heart. You know what I mean? Just enjoy it. Right? Now tell me what's your power, what do you believe in? Let's be friends, Don't let's, let's not be enemies, even if you don't believe in Odin, my good old, great old father. And we cannot get drink, we cannot get drink mead in the great halls of Valhalla. It's fine. We have this time now to be friends. So if you like this video, if this video gave you a little bit of power inside you, or just something to think about, then I've done my job. And this little spirit now that leaves me and makes me wonder, what the heck was this guy screaming all this about? I'm usually not like this. I'm a funny guy, right? <laughs> Please connect with me. I'll see you in the next video. Stay golden.